Hello there, my name is Vanessa, and welcome back to another episode of Nobody Wants to Die. The last time we finished the bar scene, and uh, I bet my not so great we are. body on a great hand, and damn, was I right. Instead of dead, I was ahead for once and ready to break the case of the century. All right. Hey, Chief. Did you hear they served scotch with lead at Icarus? I didn't hear anything. Especially not from you. Because you weren't fucking there. I got some evidence. Ties to green. Rock solid. Fuck. First you sent me that bullshit report, and now you got evidence. You listen to me right now. You weren't there. Understand? We're not talking now, either. In fact, I haven't spoken to you since the accident. Got it? Chief. Nope. That's it. I'm pulling you off this case. Steiner, out. So officially, we are not part of this case anymore. Alright. Crusty old bastard. Throw me off the case. He got cold feet. Somebody bribed him. It's my fault. I've got a feeling he had some cold feet, actually. Steiner's just trying to cover his own ass. Hide behind regulations. Minimize damage, not solve the case. I thought he had bigger balls. Fuck. Learn something new every day, I guess. No doubt about it, this case smells worse than a two-week-old corpse in a storm drain. So many victims. Who's really behind it all? I don't know his name, but I can already tell what kind of man he is. Side a revolutionary, a depraved rich asshole, a self-proclaimed judge. Let's take the last one. Nothing but a delusional little fuck. Wants to be judge, jury, and executioner all by his lonesome buries the needle on crazy. I try to stop thinking about it. I try to back away. Shut it down. For one simple reason. Orders are orders. The trail's gone cold. Can't expose Sarah. That's our tough decision here. Maybe I shouldn't expose Sarah. As much as I like the idea of throwing myself into the city's abyss, if I do that, I'll drag other people down with me. And Sarah doesn't deserve that. This city has a disease, something festering, somewhere deep down, underneath the routine of concrete and steel. Below the predatory grin of the neon lights, an infection has set in. It's like... Like everybody started having the same nightmares. Night after night, I know the dream. The one that makes me wake up drenched in sweat. Hard about to crack open. Scream locked in my throat. Losing control? When I'm falling, something's chasing me. I feel like I'm losing control. But my whole world spins out of control and flies apart. No matter how hard I try to keep it together. It's also such a nice perspective here. If at the beginning you don't know if you're looking down or up. <laughs> I dream about her. <gasps> oh, fuck. Goodness. I could not see the other options. That's the next step. Chapter Streets, Amsterdam, Avenue, Manhattan. This has been one supremely shitty day. Lucky for me, I got just the thing to help get through it. Well, go to the car then. We're climbing to our car. Hey, 
Mexico. <laughs> I remember New York hellhounds. Wait, there is a message here for the stubbornest, most talented bastard I've ever known. Coach TH. In, in 2231. <laughs> Fucking rich. Even the dead can take someone off a case. I feel his breath on my neck. We don't have a moment to lose. We must... We must bite. Complete the plan, Green. I did want to steal right that. Now. I'm gonna put it away because don't drink and drive, chat. I would like to be a responsible driver, and that's the gun, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't think we're gonna find anything here. Oh, there is this newspaper, New York Daily, Edward Green Dad. We've received information from unofficial sources about the possible final death of Edward Green. Not a single case of unsuccessful echoride transplantation has happened in over a hundred years, so what could be the cause of this tragedy? I gotta flip it a bit. Controversial law with no veto. The president, despite previously made promises, did not veto the bill, set to reduce the free body subscription cut off to the age of 20. It was the most difficult decision of my political career, but as president, it was my responsibility to shoulder this burden. To you citizens, I promise one thing. Complete speech on page number three. Huh. All right. Anything else I can do, I should do? Check this, ah, oh, this oh, one. For fuck's sake. Check engine again. Just had it in the shop last week. How can I check the engine again? I guess uh, it's not my. I mean, it is my responsibility, but I don't think I can do something. Do I need to? Oh, I can also zoom like this. Oh, that's useful. Huh. How am I starting the engine? How can I even go? I guess I'm missing something else then. Mm -hmm. Acid rain. Ambient pollution density has increased by 2% each year. This translates into a need for more frequent decontamination as well as a general decrease in bodily endurance. Reduce your exhaust emissions in the same name of the common good. This is why you should turn off all the engines when you're not driving. All right. I have no idea what to click here. Guess I missed something. Maybe I actually have to drink something. I'm not quite sure. I didn't want to, but maybe it's necessary. So I'll do it, but... Uh I'm not very happy about it, let's say it this way, and I really hope it's not leading to other problems. It's just water, right? Yeah, it's just water. Uh, yep. Tastes just like it smells. The Icarus disaster is So I had to drink it, alright. Now new facts have come to light, which will bring you live in just a moment in an exclusive special report. I wonder how Sarah is dealing with it. We could call Sarah. Hello? Hi, Sarah. You listening to the radio? It's the middle of the night. Are you drinking again? Relax. No. <laughs> you or the car? Did you hear? Icarus is already in the news. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. They've been trumpeting it all over the media for an hour. Wait till they find out politicians have tried to lower the age of free body subscriptions again. People are gonna lose it. 
They'll get over it. Maybe people will finally make a stand. Maybe they'll finally get around to doing something about it. Hopefully. I mean, I know we can't get involved, but someone needs to tell them enough is enough. Do you know that I barely saved up for my first subscription? All the money was spent on living. If I had to pay a year earlier, I, I probably wouldn't be here. Crazy. What happens? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thousands of people in the same boat every year. Not everyone makes it. And these fucks want to take away what little chance they have. Sorry, don't give a shit about politics. Everyone has their own motive, assholes. Everyone has their own motive. Maybe the budget's collapsing or something. Pile of shit, not a budget. People's lives depend on these decisions. They're what decides if you end up in the freezer or not. Cool off. You're young. Oh, fuck off with that bullshit. I really can't understand it. I mean, they knew about the consequences. How can they just make decisions like that between drinks? Like human lives mean nothing. Are there any moral boundaries left? <sighs> boundaries still exist. Separates the good from the bad. We live long enough to cross every line. Hmm. <laughs> Especially in this case. <sighs> I'll take the number one. The boundaries still exist. You may not cross them, but some people are just evil and don't try to understand them. Why? Because they're bastards, and only other bastards can understand them. Okay, hang on, Mr. Pessimism. Did you just admit there are good people in the world, and they include us? Yeah, or well, let's hope. Let's hope so. Otherwise, we're in deep shit. <laughs> okay, that sounds more like you. I was starting to worry. You know, I didn't think it was possible, but looks like we're on the same page. James, can I ask you something personal? We'll see, sure. <laughs> Do you believe in life after death? The real one? I thought I was the drunk one here. Well, apparently in the past, people used to ask stuff like that all the time. Because the average lifespan was less than a hundred years. And now? Can we believe in anything beyond this? Okay. Wait a sec. I believe in technology. I believe in an afterlife. So did Rachel. Mm. Let's just say... I believe in technology. Now we have Icarite. The bank. I love to believe in all that other stuff. Rachel said... Choose the bank or death. Oh shit. The bank or death. Death. Life without Rachel has no meaning. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn it. Goodness. Bloody hell. James? James, what's going on? I'm gonna take my medicine. Oh, I did not answer her. Charms Never mind. Clash shell. Got it from a junkie. Still having synchro issues? Yeah, a whole list. I manage. No point talking about it. A whole list. Yes. Part of that may be conditioning. Memory imprinted on the shell. When the body gets certain signals, it's trained to react, expecting the drugs. Okay, got it. You were the one who took notes at school. Do you take care of regular synchro tests? Are you taking ambrosia? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm an exemplary citizen. It's important that you do it. Thanks for caring. This is my fourth body. 
you can handle it. What are the weirdest syncreations you've heard of? Do you think people can swap bodies indefinitely? Both are quite interesting. But I'm also curious about other synchros. The weirdest synchro issues you've heard of. I only know cases from police files, and they're not very amusing. I heard about a guy whose senses swapped places. Extreme synesthesia. He heard colors, tasted sounds, and reacted <laughs> to smells like he could physically touch them. I know what synesthesia is. He was doing fine until he died in a garbage truck accident one morning. Whoa, did it hit him? No, just standing next to it. Smells killed him. Well, as for your issues, how did the last Igorite transfer go? Why do you ask? Well, did it go smoothly, or did you feel something along the way? Should we tell the truth, or should we lie? I felt something, or I felt nothing. You're probably feeling something, right? So I'm gonna tell the truth. Apparently. Seth, my partner, said something was weighing him down. He also knew a guy who felt like he was falling off of a cliff every time he changed bodies. That's probably nothing unusual. Uh oh. Uh oh. But we just drank. Um, a, vi a vitamins? This vitamins, officer. I advise you to cooperate. What's your name? I'm a, I'm police. I'm on the job for fuck's sake. You will be held responsible for making false statements. So tell the fucking truth. What are you doing here? Clean up the city. I'm resting after the train accident from two weeks ago. Cleaning up the city. Somebody has to, right? I have his data. James Kara, badge number 984. He's Department of Mortality, but not active in the system. Oh, this guy's full of shit. He's trying to work some kind of angle. One last time. What were you doing here in the middle of the night? Extra job, you know how it is. Isn't it obvious the job is rotten, so I drink? I'm on a break. Ventilator cleaning. Ah. Uh, uh. I'm on a break. Just taking up some extra cash on sick leave. Ventilator cleaning. Smells fucking horrible. Pays decent. Shit. James, there's a bolo from the car from Icarus. Hey, check that out. How'd your vehicle get those marks? Icarus dropped suit half of my neighborhood. Oh, everything else is actually not available. Icarus dropped suit over half the neighborhood when it burned. My car, too. No point talking about it. Car runs fine. It's just filthy. Shit! Bolo for a 99 Bluebird! Hands in the air! Don't move! Tow the car right now! What should I do? Okay, the truth, they threw me off the case. Where's the solidarity? Okay, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll spill. Yes, I was on the Icarus, but they threw me off the case. Chief Steiner himself gave the- James, you stupid cunt! Will you just shut the fuck up? You're making it worse! We're placing you under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against oh, you goodness. in a court of law. Oh, goodness. Oh, great. Maybe we're lucky. I guess they got uh, more important stuff to do, huh? Mm-hmm. Did it work? Did they take the bait? Yeah, I saw the dispatcher was saying Sarah. 
the bad things. Well, well. I'm impressed. Thanks for saving my ass. One thing, though. Cunt? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> I panicked. No expert, but the universe seems to be telling you to go home. You believe in science? I believe it's 2 a.m. and I'm getting sick of you. Sorry, I didn't look at my watch. Let's talk about the investigation. To be honest, everything after 2 a.m. is uh, I don't know what the results gonna be like. But yeah, let's talk about the investigation. Uh, wait, we still have to talk about the investigation. There are a few things that bother me. <sighs> well, keep it short. The bar bartender from Icarus is key. I've been thinking about the type of the murderer you present. You know, Green didn't commit suicide. Green wasn't the suicidal type. No. If you look at the pieces of the puzzle carefully, there's something about everyone that doesn't fit, right? Exactly. I think I know what it is. It's paranoia. You know the saying, the sleep of reason produces monsters? Put down the vodka and rest. It'll pass. There are demons in me. Not with that tone, lady. You are my liaison. Don't talk to me like that. Then call me during business hours, not in the middle of the night. And drunk as fuck, too. Shit. Just wanted to talk a little, that's all. <laughs> what a nice little detail. We add some, some flaps, huh? It seems like that was not the right decision. Altered states get to know each other a bit, a tiny bit better. Oh, this looks nice. But this is gonna probably end like a, a nightmare. Rachel? I'm swimming insanely slowly. Hmm. Just let me go. Yeah, it's a nightmare. Jacked back again. Underwater. Mm -hmm. Waking Sarah up for a drunken call was as healthy as my usual cigarette dinner. But I needed this conversation. And something told me she needed it too. Anyway, it was a nice contrast with all these conversations that leave me hung over even when I don't drink. Looks like a new chapter. Blockade. Oh, police is everywhere here. Seems like the whole city's turning to dust, and I still feel the festive atmosphere. We gather around the fire, sing songs, argue about politics. Thanks to this charade, you lie to yourself for another year that your life matters. Go 
Can I even find him here in this chaos? There's another guy. It looks like this is the right way. Not good. No. Welcome home. James Department. James, Kara. I recommend immediate decontamination. The level of contamination of the shell is alarmingly above all norms. I know. I know. I know. We need to take a shower ride. Will take place soon. Please do not leave the apartment for the next 24 hours. What? Fuck. It's such a long time. Oh. <gasps> I think we already passed Perhaps. out. So how long did we pass out even? Don't you already know who the murderer is? How did I? Hey, doesn't the hero die at the end? Yes, but he's trying. Yes, but he's trying. And when will you cuff? me you want me to cuff you don't you want to if i don't get up from this couch and grab my drugs i'll die drugs should be in the kitchen or the restroom maybe upstairs all right let's uh look around i can see there is something here on the ground looks like we found it. Or is it empty? Damn. Oh. Empty. You got it. I won't get rid of this hologram unless you take me there. Copy that. I really would. My hallucinations are going crazy. It's occupied. Please wait 27 seconds. Okay. We in the meantime, we can go upstairs. What about this? This looks empty as well. There's nothing in this one either. What? In ancient cultures, the Moirai were an allegory of destiny. They represented the brutal laws that governed the world, and only exceptional mortals could gently influence them. No, that sounds weak. Rachel is also driving me insane. Is it available now? Try to smile a little, just a little bit. Over here. How many arms do I? Oh, never mind. This is Rachel hugging me. <laughs> Getting better? Getting better. The war makes us slaves of the system. Without this attention, the sync test is ready. Immediately approach the Hestia module. The sync test. Uh-huh. Logs. James, Kara, welcome back. I'm starting the synchro test. Please take a deep breath and imagine a safe space. Feel the ground under your feet. 
excellent. Very literally, but perfect. Please select a seat. <laughs> Feel the ground, uh huh. Actually, this looks like my chair. Our own death is a difficult experience that we naturally repress from consciousness. In order to enable smooth functioning in the new body, we need to remember the last moments of our lives and... And together face the trauma of the last death. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Before we get to the point, please recall the first death. It was just an injury. I just changed my body. My old shell went to the Hall of Fame. It looks pretty good there. Please start calibration process. How can I even start the calibration progress? Do you need to stand here? I don't need to... Oh! Press caps to enter hint mode. Oh, I gotta stand over here. Really? How should I should have known that? How can I know that? I gotta find the right spot for this. And now it's saying I need to stand here. Um, okay. Calibration successful. Thank you. Let's go to the memories. <laughs> it's time. It's definitely to alcohol, huh? Proceed to the next stage. The key to synchronization is the ability to put the past into perspective. Please try to do this. I think I need to f find the right spot. Uh, complete again. This was already pretty good here. This one. Now I understand how it works. Have you thought about buying a Synchro Plus program? Thanks. I can't afford it. No worries. Common tests work just as well. Please continue. James Kara. Play of the Year. synchronize with the new shell like I did with my original. Positive rate threshold is 80%. Maybe for you. Excellent. You found a new purpose in life. Hmm. <laughs> my current job, right? Yeah. Finding yourself in a new reality is a huge challenge. Turns out I have a knack for this job. Do you miss your job? You don't even realize. Let's move on to the last death event. It would be very interesting to see how long you can actually do, like, like live like this. It seems that the complexity of the trauma will not allow us to continue. I can handle it. Synchronization is a process, not an act. Try to isolate minor events using all your senses. Or stop and extend the recovery period. No. I, uh, I'll remember. I, I'll get it from my memory. Some shine, grease, 
burn and it's the chain accident Excellent. seriously our gun I had a chance to hit it but my gun jammed even though I cleaned it the day before who did you want to hit all I, I remember is we were on a mission me and Seth maybe I need to get up here oh Derailed the train. My ears were ringing. And... Fuck. I don't remember. What about Seth and the one you were chasing? Can you focus on them? I'll try. Oh, okay. In this direction, maybe? Looks like it. Is that a skull? It is. So many bodies. I had to get him. That's justice. Bastard kept eluding me. I like the fragments idea a lot here. It did actually such a good job here with that. access to this one maybe I need to go on the train again oh I never mind actually can I even look inside Oh, that's the dead body, right? Oh, oh I gotta stand over there. Oh, I wasn't even there yet. I wanted to climb from the other side. Get full access to this trauma. Unstable simulation. We'd better stop for today. All right? No. Now? Uh, when do I get a chance to pass the damn test? I won't let this go. I can't. I'll finish it, and I'll be back where I belong. Dynamic element detected. James, it's dangerous. It could be projection, not recollection. What projections? This is my fucking window. That day? Rachel? staying home. Your mental state is very strained and you need time to recuperate. How long until I'm back to work? From 9 to 12 months. Estimates may change. Fuck!
That's a long, long time. Sarah? Sarah, fuck it up. I don't know how to say this, but I think I'm admitting guilt. What? What happened? Is everything all right? What have you done? I just I can't do anything. I have no chance to go back. James. No. I'll finish the case. I won't leave it like this, but I won't drag you down with me. I'm sorry for earlier. I'll cover all traces. I can't drag everyone down all the time. We didn't deserve it. Phew. Wow, that's very kind of you. Excuse me? You're such a drama queen sometimes. What did you think? I'd leave it like that? I'll leave you with it? I have a few leads to discuss. Really? You think you're the only person in this town who wants to know what's going on? Let's get busy then. I'm glad we got Sarah. We are 99.9%. Hmm. Where'd it go? This is just going back to my apartment, right? But there is an interaction inside the carpet. Log in. Zeppelin crashing into the building right after Green's death is more than just a lucky break. Lucky? For us. Definitely not for them. You know exactly what I mean. Let's start with the connection between the Green case and the Icarus shooting. All right, vanishing points. What do the Green's case and the shootout on Icarus have in common? And these are our objects, Miller. The man with an encrypted Icarite, arms dealer, and owner phalanx an elite security company technical plans drawings of the electrical insulation of a building identification information has been erased agent dean the chief steiner's trusted man specialist in discreet work body acts plans to lower the age of free body subscription and a series of additional fees related to the use of the bodies fucking deemer john park politician and shareholder of the well-known company Earlier leads indicated he was a friend of Green's. Te toxicology of Icarus analysis showed that Kovalev had substances in his blood that Sarah couldn't identify. Nothing similar was found in any of the other bodies. Jane Salma scarf, item belonging to a famous psychologist that establishes her presence on Icarus. Serpent symbol, the symbol drawn on the safe along with the date of the events that took place on Icarus. Travis Collette, a chic, chic developer with an initials on a silk tie, the owner of several skyscrapers, including Green's building. And we're having Green's last letter. The politician was afraid of someone who couldn't wait any longer to carry out his plans. He had one last friend request to Kovalev to complete his work. All right, so what do the Green's case and the shootout on Icarus have in common? So the watch with a photo was an evidence of a friendly quarrel between Kovalev and Green? They were obviously very close. Did this already work out? Did it actually work out? Not saying looks like completing the work meant killing important people. Why would Kovalev check off that item if it would ruin him? I can also break the hypo hypothesis, I guess, if I want to. But it seems all right. But I didn't get the check mark, I think. I tell you something. Shit! Too many copper phase conductors with polyvinyl insulation. Uh, what? <laughs> I really don't know. 
I still don't know how he encrypted the Icarite. Why do something like that? To avoid answers when your corpse turns up in an inconvenient situation. I think I need to break the connection, right? Same here. Chief's errand boy. I wonder how big his stable was. Also not relevant, at least not right now. Why would Kovalev check off that item if it would ruin him? Is it about this one? I still can't believe it. At least their plans will take a while longer. Burn to a crisp. <laughs> Was that laughter? <laughs> no. Oh, did I just remove the last one? No, it's back again. Is the toxicology of the rest clean? Well, I wouldn't say that, but it was normal for this social class. There you go. So, it looks like completing the work meant killing important people. Why would Kolov check off that item if it would ruin him? Another similarity between Kovalev and Green. Did the same thing happen to Kovalev? Agent Dean. No connections here. Deemer. Jane Salma's scarf. Famous psychologist, back in the circle of suspects. Uh, more on the periphery. I don't think it's this one, no. And the serpent symbol. Sarah, ah. access to the CTC registers. Just checked. Kovalev Zikarite never made it there. Which means that this is another... This is another final death. They both left this world, and they left behind quite a mess. Do you think they managed to carry out the plan from Green's letter? All we know is they gave their lives for it. Could anyone here know Green and Kovalev were up to something? Damn good question. Let's check. Could anyone here have known Green and Kovalev were up to something? This is what I meant with a green one. Uh, I hope it's still okay here to do. Despite what we saw, go to go like that. Phalanx really does have quite a rep. Maybe because he's the chief star's trusted man. As the chief's trusted man, he must have known about Green's death. Just what was he looking for here? No coincidence that he dropped in here for a drink. As a cobbler and a cheese boy, he'd know about Green's death. What was he up to here? The near east. Sarah, can you check what building this is? How am I supposed to do that? This is just a small section. Oh, I need more to work with here. He was making deep plans for an installation in some building. Would he what's he need them for and which building? Rain's like building? Them. Great. Yeah, it's a developer named Travis Colette. Travis Colette? Bonjour, Travis. Travis Colette. Travis Colette. James. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, let's conclude the analysis before Green's death was public. Dean tried to get the plans of this apartment from Travis Collette. What did Green mean in the letter? What plan did he start? We'd miss something in the apartment. Holy shit. So Dean was buying the blueprints for Green's apartment from Colette. And Colette didn't know about Green's death. And that order not to board Icarus. You think Dean was following the chief's orders? He may have been working for someone else. The chief does his job as best he can. The chief has been bought. 
Huh. We can't rule out that Dean was working for someone else. Like who? And what the hell do Green's plans have to do with it? Let's focus on the second question. You think we missed something at Green's? Everything points to that. As long as everyone's focused on the riot now, the apartment should be empty. Great. Let's finish what we started. Diagnostics complete. Repair cost and fine, $938. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Right. And don't wait for me with dinner. In the mouth of madness, don't fall into madness. After our little <laughs> nightly talk, I knew I wasn't alone in all this. Sarah may have been only a voice in my earpiece, but it was a voice of integrity and reason, which was what I needed at times, and which could be switched off at other times, and unlike other such voices, without grabbing a bottle. All right. James, should I send you a sleeping bag? Get a move on. Turn on the camera. Stand back. The Fed secured the entrance. Could you? I'm on it. You get excited when you do something illegal. I'm in rehab, so don't tempt me. <laughs> you fall into me. It's going to be hard to find anything. Uh gonna be hard to find anything after the feds were here the feds weren't on icarus they don't know what we know hopefully ready so the next chapter is called green tower what what, what is it Seventy two thousand five hundred fifth avenue manhattan that's so crazy but i think that's uh, gonna be for the next time thank you so so much for playing this game one more time with me called uh, nobody wants to die i hope you guys enjoyed it um and in case you did i would appreciate um, a like maybe even a subscribe that would be free support or even the support over my coffee channel i would also appreciate this a lot thank you so so much for yeah playing another episode of nobody wants to die and i guess if uh, you guys uh, are interested to see more you can probably do this over my channel um within maybe the next week <laughs> thank you so so much for yeah tuning in and uh, have a nice day